You're probably wondering why it's so dark. Well, today I wanna to show you the value of getting good light. And in this case, I just so happen to have the brand new Loom Cube Mini that just launched this week. Now, we've been using Loom Cube lights for the last four plus years. Now, we traveled to Switzerland a couple years back and we filmed an extreme sport video just using this Loom Cube right here. So we definitely have a long history of using Loom Cube lights for a lot of our projects. But this one just came out today, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this and just giving you guys a little bit of info in case you're out there curious about buying a light. Let's talk a little bit about the facts because let's be honest, we just wanna know the facts. It can last roughly 1.3 to 16 hours depending on its brightness. Fact number two, you can change the color temperature range from 3200 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin. So you can manually adjust that with the light itself. Fact number three, LCD display screen on the back shows the brightness, color temperature, and how long the battery life will last. It has an adjustable dial, which is right here on the side, to change the brightness and color temperature. Fact number four, right here is a USB Type-C charging port. Fact number five, it comes included with a softening white diffuser, which I just so happen to have right here, this little guy. The light also comes with a mini camera shoe mount, which is right here, so you can mount it horizontal, screw it in right there, or you can mount it vertical depending on what kind of videos you guys are shooting. So just keep that in mind. You can mount this to your cameras, horizontal or vertical. It comes with everything. It also has full spectrum LED lights with 60 bicolor LEDs, which are right here. It retails for $59.95, so just under $60. Now they designed this product based on the dimensions of a credit card for pocket friendly use. So you'll see right here, they're almost identical dimensions. Not as thin, but definitely as far as the width and the length, both got it spot on. Now, I personally love to see examples. So I'm sure you guys a couple examples right now of just this light being used to light the subject. All done with these two limb cubes right here. Now, just for the record, I wasn't paid for this video, but I do have an affiliate link if you guys are curious or interested in purchasing one of these lights. It doesn't raise the price at all. Now, just to show you guys a comparison, this is the light we traditionally have been using for all of our behind the scene videos. This is the new Loom Cube Mini that just launched, which is substantially smaller, substantially lighter, and more affordable. Here's the issue we ran into. We started filming our Filmmaker Challenge videos, our behind the scene videos, but we needed good lighting and we also needed sound. So the issue we ran into is we couldn't mount the light to the camera with a mic. So this is the accessory that I ended up finding. We started looking through a lot of different accessories. This was another accessory that we tried where I could hook a light and the mic, but this was the one we ended up on as far as what worked the best for our needs. All the behind the scenes videos that you guys see, this is the setup that we use. We're using a DSLR or a RED and we're strapping the Loom Cube light to the top and then we're able to hook the mic to the side right here. So this is the setup we've been using for all our behind the scenes, all our filmmaker challenges. Now because of the Loom Cube Mini that just launched, this is our new setup that we'll be using on all of our videos. Like when we're filming behind the scenes, the issue we had at the beginning is we were capturing people's faces, but they were so dark. So once we added this light to the equation, everything looks so much better, especially for our filmmaker challenge videos. So this is the new addition to our family. Will we use this light? Absolutely, but for a light run and gun filming, which is what we do, like this is gonna be even better because it is lighter and especially when we're traveling, like the big selling point with these is I can stick it right in my pocket and pull it right back out. So this is a little bit harder to do with that. So just keep that in mind as you guys are looking for lights to purchase. Any questions that you guys have about any Loom Cube light, I would be stoked to, to answer those in the comments below. So there's three big Loom Cube lights that we personally use. The, the original Loom Cube light, which we've used on so many videos the Loom Cube light panel, and now the Loom Cube mini, which I have right here. But I'll have links to all these lights down below in the video description. Loom Cube lights are our favorite lights to use as far as lights that we're leaving the office and just running gun filming where you can't plug into the wall, where you can't use these fancier lights. Like, these are the best lights out there for running gun filming, in my opinion, as far as something that's very small, and then you can get away with a lot of stuff. So just keep that in mind as you guys are looking into lights. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'll have links down below to all this stuff. As we always say, over and out.